whenever you need to update your hub you'll need to plug it into a PC a computer or a laptop or a Mac um, but it has to be plugged into a computer and when you first plug it in it might pick it up otherwise you might need to go to the connect option in your app on the computer and press the USB option unplug it plug it back in wait a few seconds and eventually this message will come up on the screen to update the hub so here's my hub updating it takes about five minutes to update it but it must be plugged into a computer and after about five minutes eventually it looks like your hub um, turns itself off and then turns itself back on again and then it seems to get stuck on this 95% for quite a while so just be patient and wait and wait and wait and wait because it does take a while to update and then eventually it says done so you can press done and it will ask you to rename your hub and I found this is a bit of a waste of time because it's going to ask me to do that again later so after that I, dis I disconnect it from my computer and then I've found that I have to actually open the iPad that I'm using and reconnect again to the hub and it will often ask me to update again so I press update again now it doesn't even need internet connection to update this second time but I don't know what it's doing but it's updating and updating and updating and it takes another five minutes or so and eventually it turns itself off completely and it gives you a message on the screen which is quite unique it says you need to hold your finger on the start button for about 20 seconds so this is why it's a bit hard to get kids to do this so you just hold it there and wait and wait and wait and you have to wait for about 20 seconds the bluetooth button goes all sorts of different colors and sometimes it doesn't seem to be doing anything and eventually it'll turn on and when it turns on that's when you can take your fingers off the button and then guess what you can reconnect so i found it's easier just to close this window and just press connect again and you go through the usual process of turning your robot on turning the hub on and then pressing the bluetooth button and connecting and interestingly after you've done all this it asks you to rename the hub again <laughs> so you have to rename it to whatever name you want and then you should be right to go you've now connected and renamed and updated your hub and then you can get back to fixing your code even how silly it looks you can fix it okay hope you like this video if you found it useful please like and subscribe